Oju Elegba, Ailara, Olufemi, Falulu are very popular areas in Surulere, Lagos. Now, for the residents of these areas, it's different stroke for different folks as infrastructure upgrade or collapse takes a front row. We visited for an eyewitness assessment based on some eyewitness pictures from that zone. Join us. It's 1.22 p.m. and Oju Elegba as usual is bustling with various activities as people find their way to their various destinations. <laughs> this commercial nerve center of Surulere local government area is arguably one of the most popular area in Lagos for many reasons including entertainment. It's not yet rush hour, but there is always traffic build up owing to the surge of pedestrians and passengers attempting to hitch a ride provided by these bus drivers. And the motorcyclists waiting in the wings. The traffic situation is compounded by the failed portion of the road, which is becoming increasingly disturbing as motorists attempt to maneuver their way out. It's been like this for a while now, seriously hampering the smooth flow of traffic. About a hundred meters away from Ojuelegba bus stop is Ayilara Street, one of the most famous streets in the neighborhood. At the moment, work is ongoing here to give the area a first lift with the provision of an access road and drainage. For the people, this is a welcome development and they hope work is expedited. From earlier this year, they've been on this project right from the, the beginning of the street, close to Aglican Girls on, uh, along AP as if you're going to Texas. And it seems to go through the other corner, which is Clegg Street. And it's a good development for the Abena and the area. It's a development. But the point is uh, the, the work is a bit slow. Maybe, maybe because, you know, some, they are not being paid regularly. I hope no, not. But they are working. You can see them working here. You know, so development is okay. Ayala will become, you know, so a better place in terms of uh, transportation. You know, so. Further down the road is Falulu Street, another important road in the area. It's usually used by motorists as an alternative route when the major roads are blocked. The road is failing as potholes litter everywhere. It has taken the efforts of the residents to patch some of the potholes. No work has been done here and the people are worried. In Surulere, there are several notable roads and Ogulano is definitely one because of its connecting road to several other axes of the local government. 
I saw point here is an ongoing work at Ulufemi Junction, causing a heavy gridlock. The work, which includes a drainage, appears to have been slowed down and workers are not in sight. Similarly, at the Marsha Bridge, a rehabilitation work is just being concluded. While the people are grateful for the work being done, they also have a few reservations. We are happy uh, for governments that are facing this road, but the challenges we are facing now is that this place where the work stopped, when motors coming down from bridge, sometimes they will not know that there is bomb there and they climb it. Some of them is like to some assault. So even this place and this hole, I would like them to cover it again because some people will come and put dustbin inside that hole and this place is underground gutter. What I just think about the road is that to just come and finish it. Like this floor now, is this supposed to be like the because of dust? People around there is sour the dust. Armed with these eyewitness information, we visit the local government secretariat, where the head of administration gave us insights into the various projects, their commitment and challenges. First was the Ayilara Street construction, which he said was in partnership with the state government. The Ayilara is supposed to be completed under six months and there are other routes connected to Ayilara. Um, for example, Ibidun is part of it. We have completed Ibidun. Aquino is also related to Ayilara. We have completed that uh, of Aquino. It's only Ayilara we are working on now. And it's, it's expected to take traffic off the Ojo Elegba Aziz as a way of... Uh, ensuring free flow of traffic in that Aziz. And uh, as I said earlier on, it's under the Two Roads Initiative, even though we are only financing it, but with the supervision from the state government. The Ayilara is about uh, 750 meters long, and uh, supposed to be with drainage, covered drainage, as well as uh, interlocking blocks, interlocking blocks, and then the, it's about 500 million naira. He also spoke on the Lufemi Road and other roads including Falulu Street in need of government attention. In the Lufemi we, we put up a cover there and so normally if you allow the cover to some time for the cover to fully concretize before we can lay the asphalt. But, um, we are looking at, according to the, our engineer working on it, in the next one week or so, we should be able to continue work on that telephony. But it is deliberate, not that we actually stop, it's deliberate to allow the culvert to fully make up before we now put the other aspect of the interlocking on it. So we want to complete, between now and the end of the year, to complete the ones we have back upon and then that of will be part of those that we consider for the first quarter of next year. The elections are around the corner. Eyes must be kept on this project to ensure they are completed. While others in need of government attention are accorded such in order to keep the reputation of Surilere intact. <laughs>